Sharon Spangler and welcome to this Council Connection. My guest is Oscar Delgado. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. You're another newbie on the Council, sort of a newbie. It, it's almost been a year now, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. We have, what, another month and be a full-fledged one-year senior on the Council, <laughs> <laughs> if you can call it that, but what a ride it's been over this last year. What's been the best part so far? I think it's the, for me, it's been the, the community engagement. For me, it's been uh, getting out to the community, hearing people's issues and concerns firsthand uh, versus uh, uh, hearing them from uh, online or, or telephone calls or anything else. It's just really being, getting involved and hearing from people that otherwise would, would not have been involved if I wasn't out there trying to reach out to them. That's great. And one of the things that you did say was um, it was really important to you to focus on neighborhoods and livable communities and what better way to find out about it than going out and actually talking face to face with people. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's really important to me to uh, make sure that uh, communities and neighborhoods are being heard. Uh, of course we have a great downtown, a thriving downtown that's in the process of revitalizing itself and very exciting things and it's our skyline. And, and so a lot of attention is brought to our downtowns for, for many reasons, uh, especially the proximity to UNR, uh, which is another great asset that we have in our community. Uh, but of course, one of the things that we tend to sometimes put in the margins is our neighborhoods. Uh, and those are places that we go to every night. We sleep in and wake up and go to work. And, and sometimes those just get uh, passed by as we drive by, or we see them a little bit more closely on the weekends. Um, and by that time, uh, we're thinking about other things. And so it's good to go back and talk to, engage uh, the neighbors and the communities about uh, uh, what's going on in their neighborhoods, what's going on on their street corners, what's going on uh, uh, in their parks. Um, and it's a way to engage with them about ideas that they may have that they're never really able to get out. And at these formal get-togethers in these formal meetings or at the city council meetings. You've been really proactive about this. It's my understanding that you've been going out to a number of the um, schools and meeting with people. Maybe talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. You know, uh, education schools are, are very important to me. They're anchors in many ways to the neighborhoods and, and the communities. And uh, I've been invited by several principals to come out to the schools and talk to the kids, which has been great. But uh, if the kids are anything like I was when I was a kid, is they, uh, they'll see somebody come and talk to them and they'll remember me maybe for about uh, three months or four months <laughs> and then they'll forget. You know, they're, they're worried about the next movie that comes out, but hopefully their homework. Um, but it's been a way for me to engage the, the principal to ask them if they can reach out to their parents and to provide a space for me, whether a classroom or a space in the cafeteria where I'd be able to engage in informal conversation with them on a uh, more of a one-on-one -on -one basis, uh, not in a formal setting where I'm standing up and giving my, my little speech or something, but more of a just sitting in a circle and just saying, tell me about your neighborhood and your community. What kinds of things are you hearing? You know, I'm hearing uh, things that I always want to expect the worst, so in many ways. Uh, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but uh, uh, for me, it's more of wanting to hear um, what are some bad things in your neighborhoods because those are the things that I really want to uh, target right away. And, and so I, in my head, I, I, I presume the worst. Uh, but in many cases, the parents are saying, you know, Oscar, I'd really like to see that street light fixed. You know, I'd really like to see that uh, those trash cans are, are painted over and not have the graffiti on them. You know, I'd really like to see if there's a way that we can fix a lot of these uh, these divots, these holes in our in our parks where our kids are out there playing soccer and don't get hurt or twist an ankle. Um, things that uh, things that we can do as a city um, are things that maybe sometimes we uh, drive past and not think about because uh, our minds are our mindset are on bigger uh, things that we presume to be important. Uh, and but these smaller things uh, that we can deal with uh, more quick basis are very important to them. Now, could you maybe explain to viewers what your ward of the city is, and, and that's what you're targeting right now? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I look my, at my ward as, as neighborhoods, you know, as community centers. Um, and so up north, we have the trainer, Montello area, uh, Pat Baker Park, that's in the north for me. As we go down south, we have the Wells uh, neighborhood. Uh, we have 
Midtown, uh, up uh, on the east side of Virginia. We have the um, airport area, as well as the uh, Donner Springs, uh, the Neal Road area as well. Great, so do you think the fact that you are bilingual helps you a lot with some of those neighborhoods? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, Ward 3 is so diverse uh, in its economics and its ethnicities. Um, uh, it spans from areas such as those in the trainer down to, we even have a sliver of, a, of Double Diamond and parts of Hidden Valley. Uh, but ethnic, uh, with language issues, of course, uh, that's one of the things that I'm doing really outreach into those communities. We have tons of homeowners that are, are involved in their communities but don't know the process or have issues with language that I'm able to crop, build those bridges and, and make sure that everyone's living in a thriving community. That's great. And as many of you may already know, the City Council is really looking at revamping the whole way that they outreach to residents. They're considering doing away with the current Neighborhood Advisory Board system, or at least modifying it. And to start with that, you're doing a series of town halls. And your town hall is, let's see, that's uh, Saturday, October 12th at Taglio's Paradise Park Community Center. Right. And. Um, Tell us what you're hoping to achieve at the town hall. Yeah, I really want to make this an opportunity to uh, hear uh, from residents in the community, to hear from uh, business owners in the community, to hear from uh, all walks of life, whether they're young families uh, or teens to seniors. Uh, again, my ward is very diverse. We have a lot of senior housing in, in my community as well. And to hear their perspectives on uh, not just concerns, but overly their ideas and solutions. We all know so we all know relatively well what the problems are, but I'd like, love to hear people's ideas and solutions to how we can better uh, efficiently work with, with our communities to make them safe, uh, make them thriving, make them a place where people would love to come home and not have to worry about what's going on outside. Uh, and to st find a way to see them walking and jogging down the streets as they should in their neighborhoods. That's what I really want to hear from them. So I'm. I'm we're going to have police officers there, we're going to have code enforcement, we'll have the city manager, we'll have various people from other departments there to share their, uh, uh, what they do as a department as well as hopefully hear from them on how we can uh, culminate and get some good ideas coming from that. That's great and it's obvious that Oscar really cares and really wants to hear from all of you. So that uh, town hall is a real opportunity but obviously it's not the only opportunity because you're just out and about ready to meet and talk to Residents. Absolutely. It's if, 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 week. <laughs> if they're not able to uh, uh, meet with, uh, to attend the town hall, uh, I tell everyone that I meet, please uh, email me. I check my emails relatively often um, and or to call me or, or, or anything else. And if you see them on the street, please stop me and ask me a question or two or, or, to, or talk to me. You know, I, I love to hear from people. Um, nothing's better than to hear exactly from the folks that, that live in the community because I'm the first to say that I don't have all the answers and uh, but I'm always open to hear to people's uh, solutions. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to talking to you some more. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, Sharon. And thank you all for joining us as well.